Last time we finished by adding the trim around the companionway. So now I needed to mark out the parts for the hood and the companionway slide. And to do this I needed to go back to the plans, mark out these pieces and cut them out. I'm just using the timber thicknesser to get the companionway sides from rough down to lovely and smooth. And look at that grain. Some of the parts needed a bevel edge on them to match the curve of the roof. So there was a fair bit of planing and sanding involved to get the edges into the right shape. Here I'm sanding the trim that goes at the back of the companionway hood into a, a nice curved shape. Next I needed to put some slots along the insides of the companionway hood sides so that the slide can move in and out a bit like a drawer. After all this preparation it was time at last to assemble the slide and the hood. And do a bit more trimming to get those bevels right. Then I applied thickened epoxy resin to the edges and fitted the tops. These were screwed down to hold it all in place while the resin set. Working with resin in winter means you need to raise the temperature of the workshop, so I put all those offcuts to good use. Nelly seemed to enjoy it too. Now I could apply some epoxy resin to the insides of the hood and the slide. And it was lovely to see that wood grain shining through. Once the resin had set, I used the router to take the overhang off the edges of the lids. Made this rather attractive uh, piece of trim to go on the back of the companionway hood. But there's a problem. I'm going to put it on here. Looks okay that side. Come to this side and you'll see at the ends it's okay but in the middle of course this is a a curved piece of wood so and the trim is straight so i'm gonna to have to make another one and make it curve this time never mind oh well Time to paint on another coat of epoxy resin. Always good therapy after bad news. Then it was time to prepare some of the timber for the spars. In other words, the bowsprit, the gaff, the boom and the mast. To make up some of the thicker spars I needed to glue some bits of wood together and I did this of course with thickened epoxy resin. Next I did a bit of work on the rudder. I added some angled sides to the rudder cheeks and then stuck these onto the headstock of the rudder.
there's a sort of wing that goes on the bottom of the rudder that nearly doubles its power. So next I attach this with thickened epoxy resin and stainless steel screws. For the tiller I decided to use some thin strips of light and dark wood glued alternately over this form that I made. So I machined some thin strips of sapili and southern yellow pine and set about gluing these together It was a bit fiddly keeping them all together, but layer by layer it came together. Then I was able to do more sanding and more sanding of the companionway hood and slide and also the rudder. and added some epoxy resin to the outside of the companionway hood and slide, ready for fiberglassing. <laughs> 